this planet can seem like hell on earth. And for many people, that's their experience. Many people are living very painful lives, are experiencing maybe not just their own personal lives and their internal world and their experiences, but also the outside world as extremely dense and dark and difficult to handle and may, maybe even pointless. So the question is, why are we experiencing these hellish conditions here? Why is there so much lack of compassion and love and feeling for each other and understanding and support? Why is there so much violence and aggression and seeking for power and domination? Why is there so much illness? Why is there so much pain? Why is there so much abandonment? Why is there so much taking advantage over other people? Why is that? And more so, is there something that we can do to actually change this if this has been our experience? And this video is here to encourage you and to show you the reasons why it is the way it is right now and has been for thousands and thousands of years and what we can actually do in our own personal experience to change this, to change how we experience life here. Because what I can also say and also what I know for a fact is Earth is not meant to be a hell. Every hell-like situation is always created by ourselves. Everything. Hell is what we create. And the same goes for heaven. Heaven is what we create. And so if our lives have been or are right now more hellish than heavenly, then we get to look at this and we actually get to give ourselves permission to change this because we deserve to live in heaven, in heaven on earth. And yes, I know it is a big difference to talk about hell and heaven and about the, the pain and the bliss. And so I'm going to bring this together now because these videos that I make, they are supposed to be relevant, deeply relevant to your human experience and to your soul's path and growth and development. So, if your life has been difficult, and often times it starts with childhood experiences that we feel we had no say in, that we feel we had no control over, things happened to us throughout the path of life, to everybody. To a more or less painful or joyful degree. So, many people arrive at some stage in their adult lives describing their life as pretty dense, pretty dark, difficult, painful, sorrowful, griefful. And they don't exactly know how to evolve out of that, how to get themselves out of feeling that way. But nevertheless, whatever happened in our past is something that happened in our past. And unless we discover that there is value in whatever we experienced, no, it doesn't make wrong things right. But there is something we got to learn or take from or develop to arrive at the point where we are now. So all the difficult situations that may have happened to you throughout your lifetime, all the painful experiences, they made you and, and drove you into becoming who you are today. And if you're watching videos like this, who you are today is somebody who is seeking, is somebody who wants to dive deeper into the meaning of life experiences, who is not satisfied with just cruising through life on the surface and then saying goodbye at the end of it. You are actually here to go deeper. And this means that you can and will find value in all, even the difficult or especially the difficult situations of your life because there is something in them to be taken away from. 
And also today, if you say, I constantly re-experience the same difficult relationships, I constantly meet the same people who are not good for me, who may be toxic, and it's always the same dynamic, and I don't know how to get out of it, or I'm always ending up in the same difficult job situations, or financial struggles, or any patterns that keep repeating in your life that make you suffer, and make this world and your life experience more difficult, these are exactly the situations and experiences you get to look at. Because all is one. You're not disconnected from your life. You're deeply, deeply connected to every experience that happens in life. And your soul knows the path it's on and what it wants to learn. And by learning, I mean rediscovering because your soul already knows. But it's about the part of consciousness that are unconscious within yourself that want to awaken to this knowledge again. And so the veil of forgetting here is very handy for us to actually pretend we don't know or to experience we don't know, to rediscover the knowing. The knowing of, okay, what is the, what is the evolutionary path that I'm on? What's the next step I can take? And what I can tell you is what your soul wants to experience because that's what it is, is bliss, is joy, is peace, is happiness, is fulfillment, is completion, connectedness, connectedness and love. Because that's who and what you are and nothing, no matter what you experience here, will ever change that. This is who and what you are and this is what your soul wants to experience and this is why experiencing difficulties and challenges and painful things in life feels so hellish because it feels like it's creating pain. It's the pain from the separation from our true divine essence, from the true source, from our true nature, because it feels so far off from our true vibration. And so now we get to walk the way back into our true vibration. And that is love and joy and bliss and connectedness. You do not have to suffer all your life. If this has been your experience for the majority of your life, and maybe is today, maybe it has been okay, and or it's going up and down, you can give yourself permission to actually walk into the direction of who you are, which is bliss and love and peace and joy. So what does this mean for our participation in our life's creation, in our everyday experiences. The first thing we need to do is we need to become aware that we are an active part in creating what we experience. Now, I know a lot of people would say then, but what about children? What about bad things happening to children and they, they seemingly have no influence over that? This seems to be the way, right, from a human point of view, and we're not gonna dive deep into this because the topic is about something else, but I want to highlight that no matter whether the soul, the eternal soul, is in a child body, in a young body, or in an old body, it's an eternal soul. So all of us have been in young bodies and will be in old bodies, well, if we get to that age, but we are eternal souls. So there is no difference whether you're in a younger or older body, your soul is eternal. Your essence is the same. Your essence is eternal. And in terms of life experience, and in terms of difficult life experience, a lot of life experience is actually created, you may or may not be aware of this, by karmic energies that are present, by karma that has been carried over from lifetime to lifetime. So every, everything that we have not balanced in previous lifetimes, that we have not healed, that we have not mm, sorted every, like you know of the cosmic law of cause and effect, right? This is what karma is about. It means that we cause something and then we also take part in the effect. So whatever we put out there needs to come back somehow. So if in previous lifetimes certain areas of life have been one way but not been balanced, then the next lifetime will be about situations that offer the balancing of these karmic topics. And most people go through their life unconscious, not aware 
of these karmic patterns. And so they go through situation after situation after situation, repeating the same thing. And they even notice it's the same person showing up in, in different ways, but always kind of the same pattern of relationship, the same pattern here. Even my own way of reacting and responding is the same. I cannot get out of this way of responding, even if I wanted to. They're patterns and they seem to be fixed. Now, most people are not aware that they're even in these patterns because they're subconscious, but they control their lives. And they control the, the way they react, the way they respond, even the way they think. And for us to actually take charge of our lives and create positive lives with like lightheartedness, coming out of difficulty, pain and misery and experiencing this world so, so heavily, we need to become aware of what is present energetically in our life and how can we sort this, how can we solve it, how can we release it and balance it so that with the balance comes the ability to choose the coming experiences consciously more in alignment with who and what we are, meaning more positive, easier, brighter, more joyful. But in order to get there, we need to become aware of what is present karmically, energetically in our life. And we can see this when we look through our history, through our story, we can see what has been repeating, what has been showing up again and again and again possibly as a challenge, possibly as something difficult, possibly as something dark or painful. And this is where we get to look at. Because this is coming up again and again, because obviously we have not resolved it. Obviously the balancing has not been accomplished yet. So life offers, karma offers, situations again and again, chances, opportunities to balance it, to heal it. And that is my invitation. If you want to experience this life, your personal life, what you see in the world from the divine perspective, from your own higher consciousness perspective level, you need to first become aware of the patterns that are holding you in a place where you can't see that because they're just there. And now is a time on earth, everything is changing, the energies are changing, or are, are already in place, so we can heal our karma, we can see what our karma is, we can heal it, and we can actively choose our life experiences going forward, not just in this incarnation, but also going forward in the next one. Taking responsibility for our life experience now, what has been there has been there, but by us analyzing it and realizing, okay, maybe this has been the karmic pattern there, oh, I clearly see that has been karma there. And you may even get an impulse or a sense or an intuition or a vision of a past life where this situation may have caused this karmic pattern to, to be carried over into this lifetime. Many of you intuitive people, you know this already, you can sense these things. Trust that. There are absolutely ways to clearing our karma now. Absolutely, it is possible in these new times. If you're serious about it and you want to get started today with dropping your old karma and also finding out how not to create new karma, you can work with this course and achieve this. I will keep creating free videos on these topics too. But this course will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to release your existing karma and then how not to create any new karma. How you will discover that your life situations, your daily challenges, how they will become your greatest teachers and how you will and can use them as your greatest teachers. And therefore, you will not fall into the trap of unconsciously creating new karma. You will stay aware and awake every single day and you will choose your life experiences 
and you will choose the way you react and respond. We are not doomed to stay caught in the wheel of karma. We are not doomed to repeat a hell-like earth situation again and again and again. Quite the opposite. If you listen to this, you're actually here to bring the light. But it starts with us, like our soul's journey. If you want enlightenment, what is enlightenment? It is realizing who we are. So it means we need to explore who we are. So the path of self-exploration is the path to enlightenment. So the self-exploration also involves, for example, the karmic energies that are there. We are here to live free and fulfilled lives, not to live hellish lives. And so give yourself permission to do that. Give yourself permission to become freer from the pains and the difficulties. So be encouraged. Be proud of yourself for not giving up. Be proud of yourself for still seeking and searching and wanting more from life because there is so much more. Nobody, nobody has to suffer. Suffering on this planet is not necessary. Yes, suffering is a teacher and many people choose this, now not consciously, but unconsciously, as their teacher. But it doesn't have to be this hard. You can have beautiful, blissful lessons, still grow, still learn. It does not have to be painful. So you can start today by saying to yourself, I give myself permission to learn my lessons the easy way from now on. And I, I open myself up to recognizing and realizing the patterns that have been there and to changing them, to looking at them with the eyes of consciousness, not condemning anything, not judging anything, but looking, shining my light of consciousness onto them with my knowingness, with my wisdom, with my forgiveness. And with that, I can move forward. Again, if you want me to accompany you in that journey, you can check out the course on transcending your karma. I'm going to love you and leave you for today. And we'll talk again next time, if you want to.